Hey guys, it's Frosty Tech here today with an all new video and it, I know it's been a bit little late but I'm gonna fix that up. Okay, so in today's video we're gonna be talking about how you can speed up your PC. That was the before mark. And today I'm gonna be talking about how you can overclock your PC. It means not only overclocking your computer but yes, you can overclock your whole CPU and if you're talking about GPU, yes, you can also overclock your graphic card. So that getting said, let's get started. And yes, do make sure to like and subscribe regular questions. Okay, so let's get started. So the Two things we gotta need in this. The first one is Unpark CPU app. I got this here, and you can check this out. It's given below in the description. You can download it down there. And the second thing which you're gonna need is Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. It's also been given below in the description. Either you can download it from there, or just go head over to the website of just type in XTU download, and that's gonna give you the website of Intel, and you can download Extreme Tuning Utility. So first of all, let's open up Parking. Uh, okay, so main thing i'm going to be telling about is that cpu parking and unparking are two different things when you're talking about means what cpu unparking or parking is there are cpu cores so how you can check that simply go to your device manager after going to device manager click on processors and here you're going to see i'm having quad core processor that means three cores i'm having up okay so that does mean that we are having three cores not four cores but that's not four cores if you go to task manager and if you see in over here in performance then you can see in CPU it says core 2 and logical processor 4 that means I have got 4 logical processors but I only got 2 cores that means here only 2 will be shown so let's check on click click on check status okay so now that's up uh, I pause the video cause this take a lot of time if you are altering yours okay so I already have both CPU and park I already did that before you can uh, you need not to park them again and if they are parked in yours I'm gonna be showing them park park just click on unpark all <clears throat> and yes unparking particularly do not cause any harm I have this seen this question asked by many people on many posts and that's why I'm saying unparking do not cause us any problem in your CPU or anything might be but it can increase the FPS in games and yes it can increase the performance of your PC just click on unpark all and doesn't do the work Okay, so we next switch to another thing, which is extreme tuning utility. Let's open this up. In my we install my update is available. Okay, forget about it for now. Let's go to system information. You need not to go to system information if you want to check about yours. Then go to advanced tuning. First of all, you're gonna do is that go to all controls and must make sure that enhanced Intel speed step technology is enabled. And the next one, turbo boost short power max enabled. Okay, after that done, what you gotta do? First of all, go to all controls, and we're gonna change these things from here also. Okay, so these both will be unlimited, and this will be at max. Sometimes at yours, might be reference clock would be enabled, and at this. So the core current limit. I do not mind if you're changing all these things, but the best thing what you can do is to change these, is not going on yourself, because generally if you go on to yourself, you might just completely destroy your PC or do something. That's why I don't take any of this thing means you can like say you disturb a PC this or that so what the best thing you can do is to click on run benchmark is to test up your whole PC and CPU and that's gonna what's gonna do is that get you get you in a score and that score you can upload to HW bot techno community and they're gonna give you the best ever overclocking you can do to your PC so yes why not try it out so let me do that all of the Okay guys, so after that done, the highest CPU temperature and maximum performance frequency you can get this. And yes, mine got, and yes, also all the things to mind off, is that the highest CPU temperature, 59 degrees Celsius. And you can say the maximum you want to reach is 60 degree. Mine gone too much, so not worry about that, I got another PC something. So, what it should be that op the best which you can afford or the best which you can get is to 45 to 50 degrees celsius and if you're getting more than that there might be some uh, what you can say you you know that already so so let's go on let's compare online and that's gonna open you up to the sw bostic uh, community and yes forget about it there's some time to give it to me And the next thing it would ask you for is username and password. I haven't created anything on that, so never to worry about. And you can continue on this if you want. Okay, so the two things we have done is all about it. So the next thing which you can do is to 
arrange the power or you can improve the graphic card or something if you are having not good PC specification then I don't think things gonna work or so like going to properties and checking out what things you've got is the best I have mine have 4 GB RAM and this is a simple PC I don't want it because I want an 8 GB RAM would be perfect and processor is good I don't mind for processor and the GPU will be analyzed by DXDIAG you can try to run and find it out so that's all for overclocking the CPUs. So that's all for today guys. And the last I want to show you something is that <coughs> the next thing you can do is to overclock your GPUs. There are two best software which I've been used or which I've been using are MSI Afterburner and EVG Precision. And these both things are given below. You can just you know, download Afterburner from here and EVG from down here. Where it is? Here. And after that you can be sure that you can download this stuff uh, EVGA and MSI Afterburn I won't be telling more on them but these two are the best software I've ever seen in overclocking CPUs and the next thing I want to tell you about is this I just opened a new website of frostytech.com you can go to there and <coughs> find out all the things you want to know I generally type tutorials of all hacking and related something because uh, you know I once tabbed in hacking tutorial and what happened is that my account got banned so I won't be typing or I won't be uh, re displaying any video for hacking and something on YouTube. That's why it's all gonna be here on frozytech.com. It's on given on my banner. You can just go from there and get on to on this website and get whatever you want. And yes, that's how I look like. Forget about me. <laughs> so that was guys. Thanks for watching. It's all on Frosty Tech and I'm sending out. <laughs>